we see a lot of this. Oh, more cutscene. Probably both. I, I don't know numbers, honestly, but it seems like a lot. So here's a uh, more of a question. Now that we're hearing this being spoken. I'm gonna wait to the cutscenes after. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this guy too much. Long cutscene. Yeah. It's interesting the time skips you're getting Okay. Right. Pronunciation. I always grew up with it being pronounced Vietnam. But it sounded like that guy in the cutscene was saying Vietnam. So I wonder if Vietnam is a French version of it, you know? I'm not sure. Um, I guess... Oh, here's the We Were Soldiers moment. Yep. We made it. I love how he's got the binoculars and they're like 30 feet away. <laughs> yep. Oh, crap. Mad! Oh, don't just start firing wildly, guys. That is. Oh, we got the follow bullet cam. I will say they're not showing the French as complete morons in this, and that's kind of interesting. <laughs> like they're not super vilifying the French as other games might in this case. Oh, I appreciate that, and I appreciate that show some of them surrendering, show some wounded. But I also love this like Hong Kong martial arts film style oh, yeah, with the slow mo, like Chow Yun Fat jumping and shooting all of them in slow motion kind of thing. Yep, I have a crossbow. Oh, this is awesome. Can I? Why do you have a, Why I can't do you have a crossbow? I don't know. Get close, destroy enemy. All right, let's do this. I can't. Okay, there. Right now I got control. Well, this won't flash, right? Come on, boys. Why, why do you all get guns? Let's not jump to any uh, assumptions. Dunk. It might flash. Got him. Hold still. Dunk. Oh, he's fine. He just took that in the shoulder like nothing. Yeah. I'm sure this happened. I'm sure this is a thing. I... Oh, okay. Okay. I, I wouldn't doubt that at some point during this war, they used makeshift crossbows. Someone used like, something <laughs> primitive. Someone used, uh, someone used a crossbow at some point in the 20th century. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if that's how this went. Yeah, I mean, everyone else has guns. Could you just lend me one? Do I have anything else? Maybe your guy's just very cool. Oh, hell yeah. Cool 1911. We're cool. Wow, well, like, dude. I'm John Wayne, here to free Vietnam from French. Alright, I'm, I'm done with this already. Uh... Cross you gotta keep the crossbow, man. You, you gotta keep me? the crossbow. What are you doing? We're gonna find more ammo for this. The French carrying. Bonk. Got him. Bonk. <laughs> hey, they had time set for more. Alright, fine. I'll keep the crossbow the whole way through. Um, do I want that? I'll take a carbine. If I suddenly disappear, by the way, that's because the pretzel decided to revolt against me. Okay. <laughs> It has nothing to do with this video game that is surprisingly both good and bad at the same time. Yeah, like it's it's got the it's very endearing in this way. Like I, I don't mind playing this at all. Well, I just teleported. I wonder how accurate these uniforms are because you can really see them as like proto uh, like NVA uniform. Yeah, I wonder if because at this point, I don't know how well the Viet Minh was equipped. I mean, I assume at this point, like you know. Maybe they were they getting aid from the Soviets by this point. Yes. Or were they, that did not happen until the American show. No, I'm pretty sure they were, and the Chinese. Oh, use the That's heavy gun. That's right. Yeah. 
I think the Chinese did help them for a bit, and then the Chinese were like, oh, you know what? Uh, you're doing the wrong, you're doing the wrong communism. Yeah, it didn't last forever, but there, there was some, some aid. So that's when you get into fun Cold War politicking where, you know, in the, the 70s and the Nixon and all that, or 60s, 70s, I forget when, come. I taught a course uh, on this. Nixon was late 60s, early <laughs> 70s, I think. Uh, when they decided to try and normalize relations with China, because China was in the midst of its own Cold War with the Soviet Union. And they figured yeah. the Soviet Union's more of an enemy than China, so that way we can use them. Ow. I think these guns actually overheated this quickly. Maybe, depending on their make. I mean, some of them weren't very good. This one looks like it's air-cooled, so it's potentially, like, the case. The water-cooled ones tended to overheat slower. Hmm. Wait, where's leader? Oh, there's leader. Flank, second platoon. Let's go protect him. Wait, was Zung one of the guys from the cutscene that, like, threw himself on, like, a tall box or something? Are you gonna get to see that? Uh, that was at that last battle, though. So. Oh, okay. I, I I'm again. I'm kind of surprised that they, like if these moments are happening, they don't decide to like script them and show them to you in the game. You know. See, I have vague memories of someone throwing themselves in a bunker, at some point. So I have to just wait and see when that mission. That oh, was I got platoon. <laughs> okay, I'm creeping through the forest here. Come on. Can't see me. You don't know I'm here. Okay, we did it. I did it. It was me and the crossbow. I wonder if you can pick up your crossbow bolts from the guys you've shot with it. <laughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> I'll try next time. He's dead though, and that's what counts. Okay, not not walking over that way. Learn my lesson. Ha! Huh, they're gone. They're 4 I one Yeah, that's how it works. Alright, I'm out. If we ever get to advance that direction without getting eviscerated, I'll try to collect my, uh... My bolts. Oh yes, uh, about surname variety in Vietnamese, and I don't know if there's a lot of surnames, or family names, I mean. We can get a lot of repeats. It's like the Billion Smiths. I mean, every language is a lot of, like, very common ones. I know, like, in Spanish, I think the most common one is in like Mexico is like Rodriguez. Like every language has some most common names. Yeah. I don't know enough about Vietnamese to be able to say which one is which. Like, yep, which one it is though. Mm-hmm. Fonseca is pretty common. In Vietnam. In. in yes. I. Did you know it's Vietnamese this whole time? No, in Portuguese. <laughs> I know, I know that. I was like, I was confused because like you just said that immediately. I was like, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> Talk about different names. This is my name, and it's a common oh, Chief one. Fonseca. There's a uh, a winemaker, or is it Port? I think it's a winemaker, but they have like a Hollywood style sign in Porto that just spells out Fonseca. And I remember going by that as a kid and being like, oh, look at that. Oh, you're famous. That's fancy. There's a uh, Trumbull, Connecticut. I've never been there. That'd be a interesting pilgrimage if there's something fun to see there as well. I don't think I don't know, like I, I don't know if they would take too kindly to me. It's like I'll be like stepping on their turf. <laughs> and you got one trumble in this town. There's only room enough for one trumble in this town, and the town is trumble. Funnily enough, the amount of room for a trumble is the exact size of the town. 
Oh yeah, we got some reinforcements. Let's go, guys. Oof. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can be all the ones again. I'm sorry. Stop shooting me. There's so many other people to shoot. Ugh. <laughs> hey, there's that bleeding guy behind the tree. Get him. Okay, we didn't lose any time at all. That's nice. Oof. Yes, grenades. Let's do it. So I think this is appropriate time, is any. What's your favorite uh, Vietnam War movie? Given that there's very few movies that cover the French War or the First I, of the I can't War. think of any that do it. Like, at least... I mean, I'm not super... I probably would have just missed it. I don't know. Um, there's a bunch of movies that cover Vietnam. Um, you know, I, I have a fondness for Apocalypse Now, although I've never seen the original version. I've only seen Redux, which is by most accounts, a worse version of the original version. Huh. Um, we Were Soldiers is incredibly hammy, but it's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I don't know. Like, I like Apocalypse Now. It's one of my favorites. Uh, but uh, the, the book, Heart of Darkness, is one of my favorite mm. books. So the movie is kind of fun, you know, doing that. Yeah. And that one kind of hits at the uh, ridiculousness of, of the war, yeah. Yeah, from the American point of view, it made perfect sense from the Vietnamese point of view. Yeah, definitely. Stop. I don't know. Um, I saw Platoon once years ago, and I remember liking it, but I don't remember much about it. Yeah, I like Platoon. Um, uh, Willem Dafoe is in it. Yeah. And he gets screwed over by a man who looks very evil. <laughs> yes, he does. Um, there's... I think Johnny Depp's fake, in it. Fake me lie that happens. Charlie Sheen's in it, yeah. Charlie Oliver Sheen. Stone has some guy who, like, a Vietnamese guy um, with a grenade below him and the guy up. Yes. <laughs> That's the... I remember that. That suicide charge of the thing. Uh, Dr. Cox from Scrubs is in it. Oh, he is, too. I didn't yeah. even, like... John C. Riley. Notice. But, I don't know. I, I, it's hard for me to say if I have a favorite Vietnam War movie. I could read my favorite World War II movie. Sure. Yeah, that's uh, that's Kelly's Heroes. Easy. I haven't seen that one in a long time. I should really watch it again. It's, uh, it holds up pretty well. I saw it, like, last uh, couple years ago. Not that this is about Vietnam, but, you know. Yeah, I'm talking about... So, so your favorite one is Apocalypse Now, would you say? Yeah, I think so. Probably followed by... Platoon. I also saw Hamburger Hill, which was just kind of like, yeah. Yeah, that one. I remember watching that one, but it, it didn't stick out to me. I also saw Good Morning Vietnam, which almost shouldn't qualify, just because it's kind of a movie that takes place during the Vietnam War, but is not really about the Vietnam War. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a few of those. Um, nice seeing Robin Williams and things, though. I don't know. I don't, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, I'm probably gonna get rid of this crossbow. Yeah, okay. I'll take this over the Thompson though, so it doesn't give anybody a seizure. Oh, my. Oh, uh, yeah, it blocks half the screen, so you can't see yeah, the flashing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that, that does block half the screen. It does. <laughs> Alright, enemy counterattacked. We've killed them all. Battery men have mostly got injured. Battery men? Artillery battery? No, no, no it's like the Energizer Bunny. We need those. To rebuild society. Use the DKZ to eliminate my armors. I shall. What is bonk? What is this? Oh, I guess recoilless it's rifle. A recoilless rifle yeah. that you just fire <laughs> once for two seconds and then that's it. Yeah, I think I'm done. All right, thanks. Oh, is there another one? No, there's just this space. Cover us, enemy counterattack. Falling a bungee trap? What happened? 
I just cutscenes are very, very abrupt. Strange. Yeah. Now we have the high ground. Now. Let's over Anakin. Us the people of Vietnam have the high ground. Can we Oh my goodness, this thing is just beastly. Chunky. Ow. Chunk, chunky man. I feel like I must have um, different damage depending on where I get hit, because sometimes my screen just goes nuts, and other times I just take three or four hits. I have to hit that? Oh, I have to use the... I am not good at... Oh, comrades. We had the high ground. Oh, comrades, no! Donk. There you go. Why couldn't any of you do that? Well, this match just seems to be going better than the last one. I'm not dying nearly as much. Although now I say that, I'm probably going to get ruined. This is a hell of an ambush though too, wasn't it? This goes on for like, kilometers. This is like... This is like Finnish Winter War, like, level ambush. <laughs> There's 10,000 Vietnamese soldiers were ambushing this along 5 kilometers of highway. The Tudeberg Forest of, <laughs> of Vietnam ambushes. You're gonna keep going, and you're gonna find a whole Roman legion in here, you have to take their eagle and stuff. <laughs> if this game suddenly turned into a... one of those, that'd be kind of interesting, wouldn't it? That would be kind of fun, actually. Like, I wish... I don't know, I... This is, a, I guess, a little tangential, but I will say that I wish more games would be... would just take a... Uh, take a note from Kojima and just go buck wild with their plots, you know? Yeah, it could be fun to just do something strange. Oh, I'm not gonna take that. I'm trying to think of any, like, uh... All right, totally off the, the tangent. Oh, uh, this one's moving. This <laughs> this one's alive. Oh, no, okay, never mind. I got excited for a second. Thank you, artillery brothers. Or artillery gentlemen. Right, going off the rails completely. We played Uncharted, the first one, recently. Mm -hmm. And hey, oh boy, is that a tonally inconsistent game. I, I didn't play the first one, I just played the uh, second and third. Uh, my basic gripe is that you go from like, this guy's a jovial Indiana Jones type, you know, treasure hunter, to just murdering hundreds of brown people. And that it, it's kind of jarring because you're like talking and joking with your other NPC characters, and then you're just shooting dozens of people. But anyways, in like the last fifth of that game, spoilers for Uncharted, the like, first one, like from, a fifteen-year-old yeah, game at this point. It introduces these like golem-like subterranean yeah, creatures. Yeah, they're all Smeagol. All yeah. of them are Smeagol. And that was rad. I was into that. <laughs> oh, a tank. It's not that was rad. Cool. And then the second game. Uh, you go to like <laughs> I just uh, died? Nepal or something, and you fight a bunch of mercenaries there. So I think it did a better job of not making it quite as maybe potentially racist as the first one. Oh, it did kill you. Yeah, it's just there. I thought that was a cutscene uh -huh. again. And so the second one was not quite as racist as the first one, but then there were like yetis and shit. See, that that's was pretty fun. cool. Yeah. And then the third one was a little disappointing because like there was some fantasy stuff happening also, but then they were just like, you were just hallucinating, and it's like, that's disappointing. Uh, like, let me have the crazy things happen for real. Yeah, especially if I... Am I supposed to do something here? I have no Follow idea. the leader. I think the tank is just shooting this car over and over again. Or truck. My bad. Don't follow up and climb with the tank? What, they give me ten seconds to do this? Five. I'm not gonna- I'm just not gonna catch it. <laughs> Fail. Alright. So I guess it shoots it a couple times and then it just takes off. Yeah, so I gotta just retreat and then So okay, go over here. Trigger the trigger the cutscene. This game probably has stealth mechanics, right? Yeah, now run away. Shoots it once. Comrade bites it. Shoots it twice. Comrade, no! Yeah, more comrade goes go down. Go get him! Go! Go! Now I chase the tank. That's fire. That's a lot of- uh, I just died in the fire. Alright, third time. We could do this. So why is there so much fire? I- I don't know. <laughs> Devil tank. 
Okay, can't book up. Oh, there you go, because the cutscene was pretty Run away. We, we can work this out. We can figure out what the game wants us to do. Problem solved. Alright, second shot. I'm gonna go over this way and see if I get closer. Might do the third one. Yeah, third shot. And then there's the fire. And it's starting to go. Can I get through this fire? Yes. I'm inside the tank. <laughs> I did it. That was awesome. Holding the key. Hold the key to completed. Can I complete it? Can I complete it? I'm holding E. Are we gonna... They left the turret open? Come on, guys. Button up. Classic French technique. This actually reminds me, I don't know if I sent it to you, I might have forgotten to, but there is a video I saw about that grenade just does not want to go off. No, is, is it... So it was a dud? You threw a dud in there? I guess? I, I can't control myself yet. Are you supposed to be able to see what's happening? I have no idea. You're asking the wrong guy, you played this game before, I don't know. <laughs> that was a young man then. I um, guess I'm just run over here. I guess it blew up. Uh, there was a, uh, a game I saw, or not a game. Sorry, a, a training video from World War II about how to defeat Japanese tanks, and because... Bin! No, no, no Bin, that's us! Oh, wait, no, he's okay. Oh, no, he's not okay! Bin! Me! Oh, no. Tell him what? I will revenge you and look for Anne. Who am I? Oh, I'm Vin. You're Vin. I'm Vin now! <laughs> you were Bin, and now you're Vin. Pick up the grenade. Sorry, this story I have to wait because I gotta I revenge. I anyone watching this that thinks we're being a little bit insensitive, but there's Vin, Bin, and Din, and we're a little bit confused because we're not Oop. super familiar with Vietnamese names. The tank just teleported. See, I knew Vin was the guy I was making fun of for getting shot over and over again. I can't run, like, the tank disappeared and teleported. I don't think went the right way. What? Look at the arrow. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> well, I guess I the war's over. I like, take a shortcut to, like, beat it. You did not climb up, Joe. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do this again. Do I have to see the side cutscene again? About our previous protagonist, Ben, being killed. Oh, I gotta do this again? Alright, fine. Come on, tank. Okay, tank's there. Run away. Can you get shot a couple more times? Come on. Anyway, oh, the point about the yes. Japanese um, tank and instructional video for the U.S. Army was that uh, it's very interesting seeing exactly how fragile they are because uh, they you could just shove a um, a bayonet up between the turret and like the hull and just stop it from rotating. Apparently. Oh wow! Yeah, I knew they were kind of flimsy. Like they, the Japanese Army was really slow on the whole tank development thing because they just didn't really need yeah. it and they were kind of you know, conservative in their doctrinal views. But I didn't know there was that Which, crappy. That was very conservative at the time, yes. Why, why is your screen flashing? What happened to you? That was weird. I rolled off the tank. It hurt? Yes. Um, I will find um, that video and send it to you later. Interesting stuff. Yeah, I'd see that. Oh, so we're supposed to move forward and then see him try to blow it up and, and then, then get fail, shot. And then you gotta take a shortcut to get him. Yeah, okay. So I get to see him die slowly again. Sorry, former me. I stepped on him that time. Now you look at- You're not okay, you just got hit by an HE round. See, Vin's so weak, Vin took the lunge mine, attacked a tank, and it's fine. Vin just got shot by a tank round and he's dying. Come on. Yeah, what a, what a coward. Yeah, I thought he'd be more dedicated to the cause. Well, he says that he did say I'm okay. What if he's just napping? <laughs> I got better. Okay, I'm just <laughs> running. What? Oh, I didn't pick up the grenade. Oh my goodness. Come on. <laughs> I was I was worried about the timer. I think it doesn't start until you pick up the grenade. Okay. Uh, all right. Third time. Fourth time. Fifth time. There's the tank. Run Many away, time. comrades! Please no. It'd be kind of funny if they just yelled Panzer when it showed up. <laughs> Didn't quite fix that line from Call of Duty, okay. Yeah. <gasps> All right, Here's intriguing. a fun fact, did you know that uh, the um, Rising Storm, you know, the, the Japanese and American uh, fight 
FPS yep. uh, for World War II. Uh, they made a sequel to it, The Rising Storm 2. It's the Vietnam one. Mm -hmm. um, the screams when they're like lit on fire or dying or whatever, uh, they kept the Japanese voice actress that used for the Vietnamese characters, which is kind of... Oh, they did? It's kind of messed up. I yeah, don't know how else to put that. That's not cool. Why doesn't that... the grenade work? I'm very confused by this. Yeah, like we put it inside the turret, right? Like, did, it, did they just roll it out? Maybe. <laughs> they put it into the they put it into the barrel and use it to shoot Bin with. <laughs> That's the ultimate irony, yes. Bin, ultimate weakling, can't even get shot by a tank. Yeah, and the tank doesn't even like use a machine gun or something. It just yeah, it just hits him. <laughs> All right, Bin. This time, I'll listen to your story. Pick up your grenade and and win. But yeah, that's kind of lazy, and in like the worst kind of way, because they're just assuming they're mostly American audience is not going to notice or care. But yeah. come on, guys. For the record, I thought the Japanese voice acting in um, the first one was was fine. Oh and, yeah, and the Vietnamese voice acting is fine. Also, it's just that one thing. Yeah. I mean, you think it wouldn't be too hard when you got someone in a recording studio to be like, "All right, no, 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 right, almost did it, grenade. almost pick did it." <laughs> okay. Follow and catch the tank in shortcuts. You're right, I really need to be reading that text more. I thought you were like a doctoral candidate. I thought that was like your whole thing, is like reading. Yeah, but see, I'm very focused on uh, oh, not screwing oh, no, up my... No, I'm, I, can't, I ran out of sprint juice. You couldn't, couldn't keep going. I, I focused entirely on this action game here. Oh. Yeah, alright, this time for reals. Hold key to complete it! Yeah. Maybe it just rolled off last time. Maybe that's why. Maybe, like, because you threw it, remember? Oh, yeah, so we just suck. And that's why Bin's dead. I can't believe you killed Bin with your inaction. <laughs> yep. Hey, Mission 2 Gun. That was much shorter.